Good day everyone. Before we proceed to measuring or testing any electronics components or measuring AC voltage or DC voltage, we need to understand first our multitester or the multimeter. So now I have here the Sanwa CD800A model of a digital multimeter. So I will go, I would like to show you what are the parts of the digital multimeter specifically Sanwa CD800A so first we have the test probe we have the black probe and the red probe the black probe represent the negative and the red probe represent the positive we have here the display it is where you can read the measurement of your uh, reading Next, we have here the function switch. It is used to select different functions. So we have here one, two, three, four. We have four functions. The first one is the voltage. It composed of AC and DC. The next one is the resistance function composed of ohmmeter or ohmmeter range the diode range, the continuity range, and the capacitance range. The third one is the frequency range. We have the hertz and the percentage. And the last one is the current range, the DC and AC milliampere. So those are the range we're going to use in measuring. So we have the OP. The function switch also serve as the on and off switch next we have here the select button the select button used to select what function are you going to use let's see so in this case we select the voltage function and it composed of DC and AC voltage so when you press the button select you're going to change the function from DC to AC or AC to DC so first as you can see on this screen or on the display so we have here the DC function once you press the select button it will change to AC function or AC range okay so that is the purpose of the select button another example let us, let us uh, select the function of the uh, resistance function so as you can see, we have here the ohm. Once you first select the uh, or press the select button, it will change to diode testing. And then again, you have the continuity checking. And the last one will be the capacitance testing. That is the purpose of the select button. Next, we have here the range button. The range button is used to select what range are you going to use in testing of voltage resistance. For example, this one. The range is set to auto. Once you select the auto range, it means the digital multimeter, multi, uh, multimeter will automatically adjust to the range you are going to measure or test. Once you press the range, it will change to millivolts, to volts, and to 10 volts, to 1 volt. And then, if you press the range about three seconds it will go back to auto range that is the purpose of the range another example from the ohmmeter or the resistance uh, function once you sell, uh, press the range it will convert to ohm to kilo ohms and to mega ohms and then once you press the range for 3 seconds, it will, go, it will go back to auto range. 
Next, we have the relative mode. The relative, uh, relative mode is used to have a value or the uh, uh, you have the uh, options or setting of a uh, criteria of your measurement. Once you press it, it will go to relative mode. Alright? Next, we have the hold button. The hold button will be the uh, data hold. It will hold what measurement or measured on the display area. It will hold the value. Let's try. Alright? So, there is 9.4 millivolts. So, it will hold the value until you press again the hold button. That is the purpose of the hold button. And we have the hertz percent. The hertz percent is used in measuring the frequency. It is like the range. It will select the hertz and or the percentage. Once you press it, it will proceed to percentage. And then if you press again, it will goes back to hertz. Right? So those are the parts of our Sanwa CD800, a digital multimeter. So now you, are, you can now use this digital multimeter in measuring or testing electronic components or measuring voltage. AC or DC. I hope you understand the different function of the different parts of the digital multimeter. Thank you for listening and God bless.